Chris, thank you. Many Northeast Ohioans are keeping a close eye on what's happening half a world away because they have a personal connection to it. Paul Kiska's live on five. Paul, you spoke with a local family with relatives still living in Ukraine. Well, that's right, Lee. A Parma couple from Ukraine said today that freezing the assets of Russia's leaders is a start, but not a strong enough message from the United States to back off Ukraine. Now, this Parma family worries loved ones in Ukraine would die trying to stand up against a Russian army that has them overwhelmingly outnumbered. Victor Pilipchuk moved to America to lead the Ukrainian Baptist Church in Parma. Seven years later, he and his family make Northeast Ohio home. They wait anxiously for every call from relatives and friends in Ukraine. Now they fear patriotism in Ukraine has reached such a passionate level because of Russia moving into Crimea. Their loved ones would die trying to defend their homeland. Unfortunately, that's, that's the fear that we have. Pilipchuk and his wife say Russia's leaders need a stronger message from the U.S. Hit them where it hurts, Victor says. Put economic sanctions on oil and natural gas. Russia is very dependent on, on uh, oil trade and, and gas trade. Uh, without that, Russia will not be able to survive. I am mostly concerned of their safety right now. Darina Pilipchuk not only worries about her grandmother, aunt, and other loved ones in Ukraine, but wonders if Russian President Vladimir Putin sees no international uproar. Ukraine may not be his final destination. He just wants to see how much he can get um, with as little resistance as possible. And until he gets the re that resistance, most likely he will not stop. That is my personal sentiment. The Pilipchuks call the vote in Crimea to join Russia a predetermined outcome and a farce. 123 uh, percent voted in Sevastopol. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The Pilipchuks said a fundraiser at St. Andrew Ukrainian Catholic Church in Parma had a fundraiser this past Saturday for people wounded in clashes in Ukraine. 500 people were expected. More than 1,000 people showed up. And now they say it's possible some of those who are wounded in Ukraine could come to Cleveland for medical treatment. Live on 5 in the newsroom, I'm Paul Kiska.